to the extent sometimes i'll ask people to buy keys so that we can lock up their enemies if you people buy all those keys if you lock up all those keys i will collect all those keys from you people let me tell you whenever you lock up these keys you are locking up your destiny those keys that you people are bringing to me to lock people up i used to take all of them and pour it in a big river in cross river state some keys are still many here but others have poured it inside Ow! that river in cross river state to the extent that whatever you are getting i may ask you to pay tight but all of you that are here i'm taking 70 percent of your profit that you are making on earth all of them are coming to me spiritually and physically another thing that i commit that that man taught me is this because that power told me that i can be having sex with man or woman or any kind of animals there was a boy i noticed that he has a great destiny and he's a musician so i try all i could to have sex with him the name of that boy is Chidema. I tried to have sex with him. He refused. And I called one of my agents, a female agent. Then I told her to try your best to sleep with that young boy. After sleeping with him, I will pay you 20000 After you might have slept with that boy, wash your private pass. Bring the water. Pastor, I want to why? do something with it. Why, Pastor? The girl went. Why? Toasted the boy. Had sex with him. Washed her private pass. Why? And she brought it to me. Why? Then I drank it. Immediately I drank that thing. I've taken over the destiny of that young boy. Till today. To the extent he will not prosper again. Another thing why? that that power does is this there was a small calabash cheer that that man gave to me he asked me to bring it to this my church and bury it over there whenever you come to this my church to see me or in my office i will have a spiritual eyes to be seeing so many things about you but i don't have solution <coughs> He told me that what is raining now is prophecy. That nobody wants to hear the word of God. That what is raining now is prophecy. Then I brought that old chair here and buried it at the end of that place. Let us dig it out so that you will see it. It means that whenever I ask you to visit me in my office, I will see everything about you, but I don't have solution. And I want to tell you, whenever I notice that your mind is not in what I'm saying, or maybe I prophesy to you after my prophecy and ask you to bring money, let us do this work or the other for you, and I notice that you don't want to bring the money, or you want to show that you have sense, I will use that power in me, cause problem in your family, or even accident something that will make you to run back fast to me and in so doing i keep on making money in this my ministry i kept on making money it is painful to me because so many of you have desired to seek god in truth and spirit but most of our, us most of our colleagues are, have open ministry in order to be making money and not in me my ministry is Ulua Intervention Christ Prayer Ministry. All these things, we are just adding the name of God just God to be duping people. Pastor. That man that I went to see at Cross River State, I noticed that the man goes to river to bring all kinds of materials to the extent that there are so many things that he disputes and supplies to so many people. The thing I'm talking about is inside all kinds of markets. I want you to know whenever you are using it, you are initiating yourself into marine kingdom. 
There is one we call love cream. Whenever you rub it, any man that sees you will like to have sex with you. He will like to toast you. He will like to do one thing or the other with you. But this is one of the ways we initiate people in Marine Kingdom. It could be maybe sometimes you see yourself swimming in a dream. But it's because of these evil materials that you are using. It's bringing that evil to you. There's what we call love cream. There's another thing we call eyelash. It's part of the things that this man sells. It is part of the thing that this man supplies to ministries. And all kinds of ministries are selling this material that I'm talking of today. Maybe it could be that some of you that are hearing me today have bought it in one place or the other and you might have used it. Whenever you use that eyelash, if you see a man, you will desire for the man to toast you. It's one of the ways in which we initiate people into Marine Kingdom from ministry. Another ways in which we used to do people, we have agent in all different kinds of churches. The works of that our agent is to make sure they will be bringing people into our ministry. If they go there, they will be telling people all kinds of stories about me, promoting me, because all my agents I used to settle them financially. My agents that are here, is it not true? It is true. I settle every one of them financially. Sometimes my agents goes to far place to bring somebody to act just like that boy over there. He wasn't an imbecile. It is an arrangement. I paid him 15,000 before he acted that thing he acted the other day. He acted as an imbecile and I pray for him. He became well. It is, he is not an imbecile. I paid him 15,000. Pastor, why? And paid the person why, that brought him 9,259. Why? Is it not true, Chukwode? Because you are the person that brought him to this place. Another way why? in which I used to dupe people why? is this. Sometimes I'll ask you people that all of us will wash our hands in pants or in drawers. I want to tell you after you might have washed your hand and go home. I I will carry that water to the people that I'm dealing with. They will carry that water and pour it into a big river. It means that all of you are uncaged spiritually by my power so that you people will not go away from this my ministry. And whatever I say is, is what you people will agree with and be doing it. Another thing in which we the fake ministers are doing, of which you people know that so many fake ministers are doing it. Sometimes we will tell you that we use water from coconut to bath you or bath your head. Anytime we use this water to bath you and throw away that water, do you know what it means? It means we have taken over all your brain and mind. It is now under our power. To the extent that even if I thought you are progressing or you are stagnant, it means what you are doing will be stagnant. And this is our fake ministry. Once you are attending it, you will be meeting all kinds of accidental things so that you keep on coming. And you will believe that I have solution. But I have no solution. It is the only Almighty God, the only God Jesus Christ, is the one that can give you solution. All the things we do in this my ministry church is just bring this and take that. But God flogged me bitterly yesterday night and asked me to go and confess and say all the iniquity that I've been committing so that he will forgive me and he asked me to say other evil that so many ministers are doing 
the way so many ministers are taking people into worship of idol in the name of worshiping God. Do you know that many ministries in this country, most pastor, of them why? are using all why, kinds of pastor? materials to work why? on people? You that are attending such ministry, have you asked yourself where are they why? getting all these materials from? Why? Do you know some of them are being bought from Marin Queen? Some will ask you to buy this, you buy it a rope. They ask you to bring your clothes, you bring your clothes. They ask you to break coronet, you break coronet. All these things that we are doing, and you are doing it. Have you asked yourself, where are they getting these materials from? Do you know that some oils, do you know that some oils will rub on your people? Some fake olive oil. Most of them are not olive oil. Some of them are being caused mm -hmm. by occultic men and women. And that's why what you are doing is not progressing. And even some staffs that so many fake prophets have been giving to you. Or even some pictures of most fake prophets.